So here we have the Rock Chip 3288 and this is the Rakta. So you got this board. How do you get this board? Uh, a fellow colleague, Fu Wei from Red Hat, um, knew, knew somebody on the team and uh, they were nice enough to uh, donate this to kernelci.org and here I am with the board. So you're going to put it right on kernel CI? Yeah, I think we're going to put it on kernel CI and uh, you know, make sure that it, it's well supported upstream. So there we have the Raksa logo, a yeah. bunch of RAM around it. That's right, and, and, and the baseboard here is really nice. I like the design so that if they come out with a newer module in the future, uh, you could simply unscrew it here, pull it out of the uh, the slot, and then replace the module while your peripherals stay the same. So, so what uh, are the peripherals here? Well, so you've got some, some low-speed basic I.O. out the side here. This is a, a battery connector if you want to run an external battery. Obviously, a SATA connector. It's your reset. You've got a USB OTG. You've got an infrared port here. You've got your, your serial port connector here. Um, this is a coin cell battery for probably the real-time clock. Um, you've got type A USB. You've got an MMC slot here. Audio jack. Uh, you've got some more pins for I.O., which is really nice. This looks like it might be a header for an LCD panel at some point. Um, is it something like Arduino headers? Yeah, exactly. I think this would be more for the, the Arduino headers here. You probably have SPI, uh, I2C, squared and GPIOs. Um, There's a little information next to each of them. Yeah, which is really nice to have that laid out on the PCB so that you don't have to go to the schematics and second guess on uh, which way the board's oriented and things like that. It just did. Not that that's difficult to do. It's just it's nice to have it printed directly on the PCB like this. So you've got your reset here. And then you've got your uh, WLAN radio uh, antenna, external antenna port here, um, gigabit ethernet. You've got your standard HDMI connector. Um, and then this is the, uh, the audio, um, high-speed audio, excuse me, high-speed audio, the optical audio jack. And again, some more type A USB and your input power. So there's no USB 3? There is no USB 3 that I'm aware of on this platform. In fact, this is uh, still a, a pre-production unit. They had to make some wire mods, so, so I'm, I'm told that the audio um, doesn't work, which isn't a problem for me. Everything else works. I you don't test fine. audio on, uh, on, your, on Lava? Well, we do, um, but you know it's less of an issue uh, for doing kernel development and upstream. Uh, How do you if, test audio? Uh, we have an audio loopback system so that we can play a, a known file uh, out the, the audio um, output um, jack and then we can uh, play it back into another thing and compare the results so that's typically is how it we automatic compare it is it is um, now we like can't the, the, the sound wave stuff yeah and it, it's fairly basic you know does audio work reasonably well uh, it's not like tuning for, for very high quality audio it's just uh, you know basic enablement type right. testing so uh, this is cool this is a 3288 development board yeah uh, Raksa guys and they're probably gonna put it in some kind of a box setup box can yeah you look in the back yeah, sure. So there's, there looks like there's some wire mods on here, but uh, yeah, this is a very, very nice PCB layout. I, I really like uh, the, the way they've designed it and they've laid things out. So you have some external connectors here. This is probably maybe for a touch screen at some point. This uh, is clean. Yeah, no, it's a very, very well designed board. Um, I'm very happy with it and uh, looking forward to seeing what else they make. It's the Tom Cuby guy. He's a Cuby board. That's right. He used to do Cuby board and now he's a Ratsa. Yeah. And uh, how does this work, this kind of cable mod? Well, this is this is pretty typical of, of early uh, early prototypes. Is so they put it somewhere and they put it somewhere else. And yeah, and they say, okay, that didn't really work so well on this design, so we need to move these signals over here, and then they do that. Um, and so, basically, when when this comes out um, and it's available um, for consumers to buy, this this will all be redesigned and, and, and retested. Nice. So, yeah. uh, so Raksa, what do you think they will be testing on this? Uh, 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 I'm Debian, sure uh, Ubuntu. We'll make sure Debian runs on it. Uh, I'm sure uh, any of the de the uh, Debian-based uh, variants will Maybe run. They're going to play with around with Chromium, Chrome OS. I would really like to see that. You know, uh, like a, a mini Chrome box would be a very neat uh, use case for this. Also, of course, Android. Um, but yeah, no, Chrome OS would be. Chromium would be really is open source. The people should go and hack on the three two eight eight. Yeah, that's right. And get it perfect. Yeah, I'd like uh, to see. Rockchip like is probably working on that. Oh yeah, I'm sure, and and I've heard rumors of the Chromebooks, and I believe you've even done some yeah. videos with the, with the Rock Trip Chromebooks. So, so looking forward to seeing those. And then, uh, but people can uh, optimize uh, Ubuntu on a Cortex A17 quad core. Yeah, that's right. It's exciting to see the ARM ecosystem so so uh, so broad, where you can have these these designs here, and then there's there's differentiation um, with these uh, these processors, even though they're more or less uh, you know the, the, the same uh, architecture. So and Lollipop Android. That's right, yeah. So everything's there. Yeah, very nice looking board.
very impressed and, and thanks to the, the team for providing this to me. Um, I'm sure we'll put it to good use. So people should go on Raksa and check it out. Mm -hmm.